I think the Saône is one of my favourite rivers in France. It runs from north to south till it meets the road in Lyon. On a sunny spring Sunday, the Regina and I slipped off with a group of friends upstream. About 15 kilometers north of Lyon lies part of the empire of one of the legends of French cooking and certainly the city's most famous chef, Paul Bocuse. Straight away, Paul took me to see his mural. That's Fernand Point and Madame Point. There's the first edition of the Michelin Guide in 1933. They kept their three-star rating for 52 years, a record. That's General de Gaulle at the Liberation, Edward Herriot, the famous mayor of Lyon. Mayor Brazier went on cooking till she was well over 80 and her son, Gaston. Mayor Filiou and her famous chicken recipe. These chefs are dead. There's Francoise Bise at Talois, Jean Pic at Valence, Jean Poirot at Brouin, Alan Chapelle at Mionnet, and there's Raymond Oliver. The Americans, James Beard and Julia Childs, Shitsu Tuzi, who wrote a history of cooking, unfortunately he's dead. The guys who work here now, Jean Ferry, all the best workers of France, Roger Jaloux, Robert Duvy, Varel, Alfred. That's Françoise Pipala. My son, who works in the US, in Orlando, at Epcot. The wine waiter. My wife, myself, and my daughter. Up there are my parents. They're still watching me. And there's the gardener. The light's good there. <laughs> Lyon is the larder of France. Lyon is a city that's very well located. It's surrounded by the best produce. To the north, there is the valley of the Saône with all the vegetables. Also, La Dôme with its famous breast chickens. These chickens are so special that they have an appellation controlée, like the best wine. Then you have all the lakes in the Savoie district. In the Drôme, there are all the oils made from nuts. Then there's the Rhone Valley with all the good wine and the fruit. We're not far from Charolais. Nowadays there's a problem with beef and mad cow disease, but there isn't a problem in the Charolais. I always say that Lyon is the larder of France, but it's also a transit point. In the olden days, you'd pass by the river, and then the road, and then the railway, and now by TGV. Paris, two hours away, has become the suburb of Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> I asked if his mother had a restaurant here. Yes, at my grandfather. A few five minutes, I'll show you something very interesting. Oh, absolutely. A little way down the road is the abbey where Paul Bocuse holds his functions. What Paul had to show me was his magnificent collection of mechanical organs. Behind the giant limonair organ, Paul showed me how it
told me this was the finest organ in his collection because it had a very special sound which made it quite unique. <laughs> This one dates from 1920. I know where it came from. It was in a brothel in Saint Etienne. One day, I had an old clan who was the father of Jean and Pierre Troigo, who went up to the organ and sniffed. That smells of the good time girls. That was the sound system of the period. That belonged to my grandmother. They used to cook everything in it. Later he showed me how they did it nowadays. You put in your hay and the ham with some mint or estragon, fill it up with water and cook for four hours. I asked who was the first peasant to think of cooking ham in hay. You'll have to ask Mr. Bocuse that. <laughs> I'm not a player. A great man had come to carve the ham for a conference of windscreen salesmen, but he got tired of waiting and left for his oh, restaurant. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried a bit later, quite delicious. I asked Paul what was the gastronomy of Lyon in a word. Good produce, that's to say. Before there was plenty of fish in the river there. Pike, perch, eels. Nowadays people don't eat much freshwater fish. In those days my father and grandfather were fishermen. They caught fish for the restaurant, which was cheap. The cuisine was simple. That's to say frogs, fry-ups, cooked sausages like collets of beers, all sorts of tripe, fromage blanc, omelettes, chicken sauteed à la chasseur. It was a simple cuisine. I believe what's important in cooking is to have good produce and above all to have an identifiable cuisine because often you've no idea what you're eating. That used to be the grocer's. The butcher and the charcuterie are closed, but the baker still works. We have 20,000 square meters of garden with two gardens. I always say the kitchen should be near the garden, because when you pick a salad or pull a leek in the morning, it has a completely different taste from anything you buy in the market. I was born in that house 75 years ago. I was born there behind that window at the top there. The window next to the chicken up there. I still sleep in that room. While Paul had a chat with his old friend Colette Sevilla, I went to see what was going on in the kitchen. I've never been in the kitchen of a really top-rated restaurant before. The very first thing that struck me was the cleanliness. Everything was spick and span. And 
yes, that big metal B does stand for Vaucluse. Never one to retire from publicity. I think that cooking is a thing that calms. A good meal amongst friends is convivial. And I believe that's what's important. For that reason, you've given Lyon something quite extraordinary. Lyon has done a lot for me as well. That's true, but you seem to have discovered a secret. I believe that after the war it was a very good period for me because at the beginning the people were hungry. Now people aren't hungry. After four or five years of privation they were hungry. Now they are blasé about everything. Vous savez, ils avaient eu 4 ans ou 5 ans de privation, oui. donc ils avaient faim. Oui. Aujourd'hui, les gens ils sont blasés de tout. Voilà. Chefs Bouvarel and Muller have a last minute conference before the evening rush starts. Tonight, there are 148 people to feed, some of the most luxurious food in France. Chef Bouvarel has the much prized blue, white, and red insignia on his collar of one of the best workers of France. I admired his onion chopping technique. That's my job, he said. It almost goes by itself. Table 3 is the ambassadress of Thailand. Monsieur Paul, as he's known in the kitchen, watches eagle-eyed for the slightest sign of slackness or dirt as his team of 19 sous chefs go about their business. David Gilliman, who has the wonderful title of sous chef of the demi parti, don't ask me what that means, is one of the few allowed to slice up the fabulously expensive black truffles to stuff a chicken. I have to say I had some doubt about the morality of eating a $50 bowl of soup flavoured with truffles, but after a few minutes in the kitchen it was easy to see where the money went. showman to his fingertips appeared not to miss an opportunity to welcome his guests. He told me later that he did this to slow down the big groups from all arriving in the dining room at once, so the waiters had time to seat the diners. 
I don't think I'll ever again be able to listen to the triumphal march from Aida without thinking of Paul Bocuse doing his magnificent number. Paul left me to look after some wine cellars from California with some white wine and a portion of Sol Fernand Point, Paul's old mentor. Heaven was not far off. Francoise Pipola poured me a glass of Saint Julien 1978, which he described as a little Jesus in velvet pants. <laughs> the two chefs have a last minute head to head like two fighting cocks, and the rush begins. One spoon, just one spoon. The Bocuse menu is traditional French food and wonderful at that. Paul makes enormous efforts to keep everything exactly the same. He never misses a trick. Thank <laughs> you. 
told me as they carved the carré d'agneau that he thought the discipline in the kitchen and the restaurant were all important. There's nothing left in the fridge when the restaurant closes every night. Everything is ordered fresh in the morning, every day. There are no good cooks, he confided. Just good work. Tomorrow I'll be in Paris, he told me. By the time I went back to my boat, I realized I'd spent the day with a most remarkable man, a true original. More than just good food, good work. Thank you. 